The problem with becoming the most powerful player on a Minecraft server is if you're bad at PvP, you'll be killed instantly. But when you have a giant indestructible bar plane, things start to become a bit more possible. Oh my god. This bomber plane is gonna be able to explode hundreds of TNT blocks per second, pretty much annihilating everyone and everything in its path. To show you how badly I needed this power on the server, you have to understand, a player by the name of Infamous JJ was already killing my friends when we first joined. And with every kill, he was gaining another effect, making him the most powerful player. But luckily for me, I was able to escape from spawn while everybody else was being killed. Okay, I need to get a bit of armor or I'm definitely gonna be killed. So I began my journey on the SMP by swimming away to avoid the mass killing at spawn, and I decided to travel a thousand blocks away from spawn to at least get a bit of protection. So after the wreck of a start this server had, I got some wood like any Minecraft player would and decided to plot my next moves to gain some power on the server. Even though I am worried about being killed on the server, I prepared a plan that will make sure nobody even tries to kill me. So introducing Project Bomby Bomber Plane blow up things with TNT. Here's Here's the game plan. So what we're gonna do is locate JJ's base and send the most over the top insane plane over his house and completely ruin it. I mean, the plan is simple enough and should solve our problem of needing power, but the first step of many in this plane is creating a giant slime farm, which requires you to mine out a whole chunk of the world all the way to bedrock. And I am not doing that with a wooden pickaxe. So I put the plan on hold for around a day and I got some better gear. So we'll give you guys a bit of an update on the barn plane now that I've been working towards that a bit more. So I traveled around like 6,000 blocks from spawn as I feared digging a giant crater in the world probably wouldn't be the most secret thing ever. Especially if JJ was killing us off the bat like he was doing at spawn. I feel like if he found the slime farm, he wouldn't be the most happy guy ever. Oh, and I also got a new teammate to help me out with building this farm so I wouldn't be doing this all alone. But all in all, we are making some good progress. So after about a day of mining, I finished the entire slime farm and I decided to AFK for the night so I could collect all the slime balls the next day and check that off my list. But I messed up. So it turns out when you AFK for a whole night, people are a bit nosy and in my case, people are telling me somebody is gonna kill me. Come on, man, it is seven in the morning. But the strangest part of it all was the same person who messed Message me while I was sleeping was the infamous JJ himself. Now I'm gonna collect all of these slime balls and get out of here, bro. What? That message freaked me out, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I don't know if someone's gonna kill me, but I'm not trying to get killed with all these slime balls. Luckily, nothing happened with that message JJ sent, and as the day went on, everything was peaceful. And I honestly started to wonder why JJ was telling me about how someone was gonna kill me for the rest of the day until it hit Bro, me. I, I think what he meant by sending that message earlier was literally just to get in my head. Like, the more I think of it, the more plausible it seems, you know? Like, think of it. I'm being so secretive right now. Like, I'm AFKing this server all night. He doesn't know where I am, and he couldn't even kill me when I was at spawn. So I think what he's trying to do is he's probably trying to make me paranoid that I mess up being secretive, and I accidentally leak where I am. I mean, dang, it almost worked. So instead of letting JJ use his plan on me, I made the choice that I needed to stay at least two steps ahead of whatever plan he was doing. I mean, no matter what happens, I know JJ is trying to play me somehow so until i have this barn plane i need to act very smart and cautious about like everything. so that's exactly what i did and i think the best way to say two steps ahead of jj is to act like we are hunting for him so he becomes more defensive but i am way too busy getting materials for the plane to do that so i needed to get someone who is trustworthy enough to execute this plan for it to actually work and i think the most trustworthy person in a server full of people trying to become powerful is probably someone with the same common enemy as me. McCartney, I brought you onto my team for one cause. You gotta find JJ's face. No matter what it takes, if you die, I'll give you some more gear, whatever you need, you know? Okay. I mean, do you even think this is a good idea? 
I wasn't confident at all if McCartney even thought my plan was a good idea or what, but I couldn't worry about if he was the right guy for the job or anything because I wanted to finish this plane and accomplish my mission of becoming powerful. So I got to work on gathering more materials for the plane while I sent McCartney to go and find JJ's base. So what I'm doing right now is building the honey farm for the plane because if you didn't know, honey blocks are pretty much the exact same as slime blocks. I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all, I don't even know how this redstone stuff works. I might be wrong, all I know know that it is if I want to blow things up I'm gonna need a lot of honey blocks. so to get a lot of honey blocks all you have to do is lock two bees who really love each other in a room and come back a bit later I think I built the farm right guys so after a bit of time I was making great progress on the material list for the plane and now I needed very basic things like coral for the TNT dupers and 2,000 blocks of concrete yeah you heard me right 2,000 which looks like this. this is gonna take forever, bro. But enough complaining and more grinding. So I made my way over to a coral reef and decided to start ruining some fish's homes so I can destroy other people's homes. I'm sorry, fishes. But as I grinded more and more and became richer and richer, I started to notice I was the only person online on my team for the most which part. Which is a problem because if I actually wanted to destroy JJ's base, how am I going to do it without knowing where it is? And the more I thought of it, I realized McCartney actually hadn't been online since I asked him to find the base. So I sent him a quick DM asking if he even had a clue where this base is. And to my surprise, he did. Yeah, I was shocked to say the least but he had a, some idea of where the base was after being online for days on end. Only thing that I could think of is maybe he was conspiring with JJ to lead us into a trap or something but against my best judgment I decided to go. I'll tell you the cords, I'll tell you the cords. So that picture you have, that pretty much like confirms their base is there, right? McCartney's lead on where their base was was very strong and it seemed like we were likely heading in the right direction. But the one thing I couldn't wrap my finger around was the fact that this base was the last step needed before I could send my bomber plane over to their base. And it was honestly arguably the hardest thing in the plan. So how did McCartney find the base without being online? The answer was unclear to me and I thought something bad could happen. But if I wanted to stay two steps ahead of JJ, I needed to make it seem like I had no idea what was going to happen. So instead of telling McCartney that I felt like he was going to betray me, I needed to follow him to this base and stay on high alert. So I'm currently swimming to one of the locations that could be JJ's base. The reason I'm swimming here is because in the picture McCartney sent of JJ's base, you can clearly see that it's in a snow biome village. So I swam to the villages where the base could be and I found nothing, not a single sign of any base. The more I thought, the more some kind of setup seemed possible until my teammates said they found the base. I knew it was him, right? Uh, I'll give you, okay, I told minus you six, there's a big base here. <laughs> minus 680, 1,002, okay, I'll just send that. To my surprise, the base actually existed, and when I went there, I was taken aback that it was actually real. Oh my god, this is it. This is, uh, GG's base. Oh my lord. So I looked around the base and I couldn't find a single hint of there being a trap, so I let my guard down and explored it a bit with my teammate Minox. It's just... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. The base was real and all I wanted to do was get out of there and leave the base untouched so I could build my plane. But I still wanted to check a few more things at their base so I could see how much stuff they had. Minox, I think we should leave this base before anybody sees us. But let's check the trading hall, see if they have any good stuff. The village is cheap. <gasps> He's here! He's here! He's here! Do, do we want to log off? No, he's here! He's here, bro! No, no, nah, no, nah, nah. I need to take off the sick skin. Hat off. Bro, he's right here, bro. Bruh. Jackson, are you seeing this? Yes, I'm seeing this. And there it was. The betrayal I had been waiting for. I made the mistake of letting my guard down and as soon as I did, the one person I was in fear of from the beginning of the server showed up. Nah, bro, what? Nah, I need to log out. What is this? As soon as I saw JJ, I logged out the server and waited to rejoin. I was not ready for a fight, so I had to dodge my pending death for as long as possible. 
But for whatever reason, my teammate, McCartney, wanted to help me or lead me into dying. At this point, I, I think it's more of leading me into dying. But, but he <laughs> logged on the server and wasn't being killed by JJ at all and was telling me when it was safe to log on the server. Are you ready to join if Impactful leaves? Yes. He left, he left. He joined, 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 joined. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Get in out of here, bro. I'm just moving to a different location. So I followed McCartney's orders and I logged on the server when nobody was online to make my escape. But for whatever reason, my teammate McCartney was trying to make up a plan for us to stay at the base and do something. I'm still at the base. We let's, let's like just kill all their villagers or something. Are we allowed to do that? Is that? I didn't want to tell my teammate. I figured out that he was going to betray me. So I played as dumb as possible and decided to go along with his plan. Okay, instead of killing all their villagers, how about we just blow up their entire base and show them what's up, you know? McCartney agreed to blow up the base with me, so that's exactly what we did. I am just gonna place a bunch of TNT everywhere and blow this thing up in a second. Oh my gosh. There isn't any. Oh my gosh, what? Why did he. Yo, chill. Uh oh. Where is he? But as soon as I blew up the base, something alerted JJ to log back on with his teammates and hunt us down. Oh. Yes, JJ. Yeah, he's, he's up there, he's up there, he's up there, he's up there. A pack to the face. On my ping, on my ping, on my ping. I see Bro, him. jump him. Oh, go, so go, go. oh wait, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. We run, we run. No, no, we run, we run, we run. I'm running, by the way. My ex-teammate McCartney decided to stay at the base while me and my teammate Minox ran away from the trap McCartney had set up. But while me and Minox were running from the setup, McCartney was acting as if he was being killed in order to get us to come back to save him. I literally have like <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? I can try to save you. But I didn't take the bait and continued to run with the little bit of dignity I had left. Which caused JJ to be mad that his plan to trap me and Minox to get more effects had failed. I'm gonna be seeing your base soon. I'm gonna see your base soon. So I messaged my one teammate who had been with me from the start that we had to call a code red and abandon our base. The reason for this is because McCartney knew exactly where our base was, so there was no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't leak it to JJ. And now we officially lost everything. Our base, the one thing that would help me gain power over JJ, and a teammate I thought I could trust. So I quickly packed my things and made my way up to the nether roof to officially go into hiding from JJ. I can't believe that happened. We were just about to win, you know. If JJ didn't show up at that base, we would have left and been fine. Then once I got the materials for the plane, all we had to do was build it and then let it go. But we messed up and now JJ is mad we blew up our base. We're pretty much done After for. a bit of time of traveling, we ended up getting to where our new base would be built and I decided I wanted to finish my plane as a sign that I wasn't going to give up on my mission on becoming powerful. If for whatever reason this plan would work, I'd be throwing the biggest curveball to JJ that this server had seen and completely change this server's landscape forever. And instead of JJ thinking of me as some weak player that he thinks he can trick, he would see me as somebody to never mess with again. No. Since we're at the new base now, I think the move is just to lay low for a bit. I can't cause any more fights on the server. So that's what I did. I disconnected from the server for the time being, and it actually did work. Whenever I logged on and went to spawn, I wasn't being attacked or anything. But for old time's sake, I decided to go back to my old base to check if it was still there, and it wasn't. It was completely in ruins. Bro, I actually messed up attacking JJ. But now I think what we need to do is strike back and show him that I'm not going to be messed with. This is not going to happen Almost again. every good memory I had on the server had been destroyed at this point, and it was all because of my quest to gain power on the server. But now I was in too deep to just give up. So I made my way over to spawn to see if there was any builds made by JJ that I could blow up and have the whole server see since it would be at spawn. And that's when I saw this. After all this time of searching for their base, it, it's literally at spawn. From the time I had been offline on the server, JJ's power had grown more and there wasn't a single person in his way. So to show the server how powerful he was, he recruited some of his teammates to build a giant mountain at spawn. And this was it. This was going to be the plane's target. So with the new target in mind, I grabbed all of my materials and got to work on the plane.
After days of grinding, the plane was finally complete. Thousands of blocks I had got over the course of the month were now adding up to the one goal I wanted, and it looked sick. Bro, I am so happy this plane is finished. You all have no idea how long this took. If you want this plane for yourself, the schematic is going to be in my Discord server. But after the days I spent without conflict, I realized that creating and building was the most fun I've had on the server. Throughout all the conflict I had on the server, the bases lost, the times I had died, and everything I had accomplished, the one thing I had been wanting since the moment I had joined the server was the plane. And once I launched the plane, everything was going to be perfect. But before I launched the plane, I called some of my friends over to show them the final product. So we're going to drive this plane. We're going to hit the wet base. We're going to mess them up. Right, Minox? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, yes or no? Harbor. Yes or no? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Yes, I'm yes. breaking first obsidian. Okay. First obsidian is broken. Second obsidian. Okay. Both obsidians are broken. Okay, pull. Pull, 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 pull. It's going. Oh! Okay. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's working. Eight. Nine. It's working. It's working, yo! <laughs> After stressing over the plane failing, I had a brief victory where the plane was working, but there was one issue. The plane failed. After all the progress I had made, it failed completely because of server lag. And there was nothing I could do except watch the plane explode itself. Um, the plane is blown uh, up. It is, yeah, look, there's orange concrete just... What? And honey blocks. Why did the plane no. blow up? No, bro. No. Because of the hundreds of blocks moving a second, the plane lagged the server, causing it to blow up the TNT too yeah, early. Oh, that. there it is. Right it there. lagged. Yeah. Yeah, it was server yeah, lag. It be lag. But maybe it was a good thing it failed, as the plane might have caused the biggest server wide war ever, making other people lose their bases, making other people lose everything they've worked leaving for, leaving me no better than the reason I started this project in the first place. And if I really wanted what's best for the server after all, maybe this fail was for the better. So I walked away from the plane to reflect on everything I had accomplished along the way. And if I really wanted to make a change to the server for the better, I would need to do something good instead of destructive. So for Every sub on this video I get, I will be placing one block to fix every block broken on the server. And right now, I have 66,000 blocks, which is enough to fill up this. So if you want to make a change to the server for the better, subscribe.